it's hard, like, having to pick clothes out for your nephew. Angel Scallion is now planning funeral arrangements for her nephew. We still have a victim that's in critical condition, and it's not just our family that's going through this. More needs to be done. Cody Shelton was killed in a hit-and-run crash March 12th during South by Southwest downtown on 7th and Red River. The person he was with also hit in the crash, still fighting for their life. Based on just surveillance video that I've seen, um, it seems like there's a lot of traffic there, foot traffic. Having those barricades definitely could have helped. Downtown Commission recommends that Austin City Council appropriate funding in the amount of $518,291.19. Tonight, the Downtown Austin Commission recommended Austin City Council make room in their 2025 fiscal budget to buy street barricades for events instead of renting them like they've done in the past. It is expensive, but renting these bollards all the time is expensive too. The cost? About half a million dollars. And I just don't think that there's any question but that to spend less than $600,000 to save a lot of lives, it's well worth it. Some commissioners say it's a purchase that's overdue. We uh, encouraged council to appropriate the funds last year. It didn't happen. Uh, and so uh, we have the opportunity to address it again. If you look at where we spend money and what we spend money on for public safety, half a million dollars is absolutely nothing. You're making a one time investment that's spread over each event. Uh, and protects thousands and thousands of Austinites and visitors. Do you think that added barricades would have saved his life? It possibly could have. Angel says nothing can bring her nephew back, but it's not too late to invest in the safety of people in the future. Hopefully something will be done now. Unfortunately, I, it's too late for us, but maybe it won't be too late for someone else. Reporting in Austin, Abigail Velez, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.